Hi guys. Hey, today we're going to talk about buying an investment property versus a primary home and occupancy fraud. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> so don't tell me. So when you're, it's never a good idea to lie on a mortgage application, but sometimes you can be tempted on the occupancy issue because the down payments and the interest rates are different. That's right. Uh, FHA, one to four units, three and a half percent down. A lot of conventionals will do 5% down, 10% down on second homes, 20 to 25% down on investment properties. And when you're buying an investment property, not only do you have the larger down payment, but your interest rate's gonna be probably a point and a half in this mar market higher than a primary owner occupied property. So you wanna be careful when you're filling out your application that you're telling the whole truth because occupancy fraud and mortgage fraud of any kind is a class C felony that's punishable by a $5 million <laughs> fine and 20 years in prison. And the thing is, they're gonna catch up with you because if you apply and you uh, don't move into a property that you said you were going to, there's lots of ways that they can catch you. So you never wanna do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that, you'll get caught. Oh my gosh, they have so many people looking in so many places. Yeah, so just want to uh, remind you when you're filling out um, an application or you're in the process of uh, buying a home, you definitely want to tell the whole truth, not only to the mortgage broker, but to your agent too. Because um, you know, you, uh, if you've watched Suits, you always tell your professionals e everything. <laughs> Nothing but the truth. <laughs> That's right. So if you have any questions about buying an investment pro uh, property, down payments, uh, mortgage applications, any of those things, you know where to find us. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge.